taking place right now, an open and honest conversation about the challenges of re-entering society after serving time in jail. It comes five years after Governor John Bell Edwards signed a handful of bipartisan bills into law aimed at reforming the criminal justice system. WDSU reporter Morgan Lint has joined us live with a story about second chances. Morgan. Yeah, so Gina, Governor John Bell Edwards was in New Orleans this morning talking about those programs and the progress they've made since 2017. But at a roundtable discussion, he also heard a lot about the work that still needs to be done. That's why recidivism is so high right now, because we have nothing to go to. This is Walter, a man who spent 25 years in prison. On Wednesday, he sat next to Governor John Bell Edwards, serving as an expert of sorts on the challenges facing formerly incarcerated people. Put your pride to the side and allow people to help you. Help that for him and several others at this roundtable discussion came in the form of reentry programs run by organizations like the United Way and Catholic Charities. Those programs got their start after the state passed a criminal justice reform package in 2017. But five years later, there are still hurdles to overcome. The biggest challenge that we see in the community is housing. Um, we need a lot more uh, affordable housing uh, within the community for our, our clients. It's a stumbling block that can land some people back in a place they don't need to be. Seeing these dudes that's buying guns and breaking in cars, you're going to put yourself back in that situation and it's hard to get out if you dare. William served 17 years on a possession charge and says with the right support, he is moving forward. Second chance are possible. And then look at me. It's a similar story for Walter, who wants to be part of the solution. I'm in college now. I'm pursuing a career, criminal justice. We certainly wish them the best. And look, the governor today did acknowledge that Louisiana as a whole is seeing a rise in violent crime, but he stressed that those reforms that took in effect back in 2017 only applied to nonviolent offenders. Reporting live in New Orleans, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News. All right, Morgan, thank you very much.